deep, deep underground. Not just under the surface of the world, but underground. Under all ground. It's under the earth. Under the soil. Under the mantle. Under the core. It's in the space between every grain of soil. That's where to look for it. Way down there, way down underground, you will find Anansi's realm. It's easy to tell when you've arrived. That silver thread leading from your chest won't be on its own anymore. The silvery heartstrings are everywhere down here, leading from every conceivable spot. Some coming down individually from specific cracks, others coming from one great hole, clumped together in a great soul root. They hang over every town, village, and city in this underground world. But they all lead to the same spot. They all converge in one city at the center, the city where Anansi lives, the city where the great musician plays, the city of Pandemonium. Now, people say a lot of nasty things about Pandemonium. They call it the Hall of Demons. They call it Hell. But Hell has always been an administrative thing. It's not for nothing that cardinals wear red. Pandemonium is not Hell. It's not the realm of the dead, except for those few dead who have been chosen. It's not the realm of the damned and depraved, again, except for those damned and depraved who have been chosen. It is a place of pure and total chaos, a place of truly beautiful discord. What else is a creature of total order going to call a place of total disorder, if not hell? This city is vast. This city is strange. Creatures of all sorts, some easy to imagine, some far more difficult to even look at, wander the streets, chattering in more languages than you ever thought existed. You can feel it all around in this city. Even the air is pregnant with possibility. Each tiny moat floating on the breeze has a long and vivid story all of its own. For those who have not the knowledge and the reason and the eyes to see what is always there, the city is impossible to navigate. Nothing retains a shape for more than a few seconds at a time. Shape is fluid here, things transmute. One person you meet may be a kitten one second, a snowdrop the next, and a fire after that. A cottage can become a skyscraper, can become a bungalow, can become a hole in the ground. There is no purpose to any of this. There is no reason, but there is a rhyme. In the land of the great composer, where Anansi writes the notation of all imagination, there is always a rhyme and always a rhythm. Most of the inhabitants of Pandemonium have their place and their time to change. Some of them specialize in certain kinds of form, all depending on what part of Anansi's great orchestra they are in. There are some individuals, certain trusted individuals, who are given their solo pieces, allowed to ignore the notation and duck the sight of their conductor, so they may add to the music of the spider in any way that they themselves see fit. But all cities are dangerous, and pandemonium is no exception. If one does not know how to recognize and read the pathways as they are, constantly winding, warping, and reworking, they can easily fall into the traps, the pitfalls, or fall victim to the fires and the knives and the street stalkers. Because while pandemonium is not in and of itself 
evil. It is not good either. <laughs>